Hey, what's up? It's Zero back again. Giving a big shout out to all my fans, of <laughs> which there might be too. But hey, if you're watching, thanks. And yeah, I enjoy your support. Got a game today on Stadium here. It's one of my first games on Stadium since I just downloaded the new map pack a while back. And if you see that I look like I'm lost and don't know where I'm going and can't figure out where the enemy's coming from, well, that's pretty much why, because I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I kind of know where the three flags are, and I kind of know a couple routes through the map, and that's about it. I don't pull off the greatest game, but I get some nice grenades and some nice kills and a couple spectacular knife fails that uh, I thought were pretty entertaining, so I thought I'd post this up. So anyway, for today's topic, it's something a little bit different. I was having a uh, conversation at work earlier tonight since we get really bored working night shift, sitting around, doing nothing for 12 hours at a time. And the topic came up, which is gayer, pitching or catching? Now, a lot of people would think, you know, catching would be the gayest, because, you know, getting it in the ass is just pretty fucking gay. But I have a different take on that. My opinion is, I think pitching's gayer. And I'll explain why. Because, you know, if you're catching, you don't really have to be enjoying it. You can be reading a magazine or watching TV or doing whatever you want. You don't even have to do anything. But if you're pitching, you gotta be into it. You gotta be like, man, I'm fucking this guy in the ass. I got a fucking boner. This is turning me on. And you know what? I think that's just a little bit gayer. I, I don't know if anybody else would agree, but you know, when you think about it to that level, which is kind of strange that we would sit around at work thinking about this to that level. Things start to kind of get a little bit strange, and perspectives get a little bit different. I don't know if this is what happens in all places when you get a lot of educated people bored out of their minds sitting around in the middle of the night, but it seems to happen pretty often at where I work. Another thing we've come across lately is uh, Rule 34. i had been saying this for years myself. I never even knew that it was an internet rule, but... If you look it up on Urban Dictionary, it's Rule 34. That states, if it exists, there is porn of it. Period. And we've all been trying to stump this rule for years, and none of us can really come up with anything that we can't find somewhere within the deep, dark bowels of the internet that uh, hasn't been covered, or at least doesn't have something similar out there. That's kind of a sad state of the world. I don't even know what to think about that. People beat off to anything, I guess. There's, there's some fucked up shit out there. Maybe that'll be my first challenge when I do my first giveaway. Somebody has to find me something that is pure and uncorrupted that no one out there is beating off to somewhere in the world. Because that's going to be one hell of a task, I guarantee you that. It might not be easy to find, but there's pretty much somebody beating off to everything in this world. And it just boggles the mind. I mean, in a world where things like scat porn and furries and things like that are just commonplace and nobody bats an eye about it anymore. What does it take for that stuff to just not even really shock people anymore? There's gotta be some really twisted things going on for that to just be ho-hum daily grind of the internet. I remember when Goatsy used to be shocking and used to get all sorts of people gasping and gagging and wondering what in the hell is that man doing to his anus? But these days, when you see Ghosty get the trick link to it, it's like seeing an old friend. You're like, oh, hey, how's it going, goat man? Haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> How have we become so desensitized to things like this? I will never know. But <laughs> it's kind of funny. In a way, well, hilarious in a way. And kind of sad, yet in another way. I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea. I mean... I don't have anything against gay people or furries or anything like that. I mean, to each their own. If you're not hurting anyone else, then, yeah, go for it. I don't see what the big deal is in people making all these issues about gay marriage these days. I don't see why they shouldn't have the same rights as everyone else. I was raised in a very right-wing, conservative, Midwestern Christian household. You know, just about as conservative as it gets, where... Everyone believed that all the gays were trying to convert the children to the homosexual agenda and all this crazy crap. And totally just 
walk right into a claymore there. And now that I've got out in the real world and actually been around actual real gay people, it's not at all what I was grown up being taught. I mean, gay people have standards too. Just because you're a guy, they don't want to have sex with you. You know, I was taught that any male was fair game for a homosexual. They would want to have sex with you whether you were a child or an old man or anything. I don't I don't understand where this belief comes from. It's just out of this world strange. I don't see how people can be so closed-minded. And when I say people, I mean I'm talking about my family too. My family is just exactly like that. They Well, let's just say at the dinner table in my family, referring to a black person as the N-word is still completely appropriate. And you cannot believe how embarrassing that is when I try to bring a girlfriend home who has been born and raised on the West Coast in a big city. And that sort of thing happens because luckily she didn't hear it. I was mortified. But, you know, you can kind of see how backwards some parts of this world are. I can kind of see it really well because I grew up as part of one of the most backwards ass places in this world. That's one of the things I've been finding really interesting lately since I'm starting to get kind of old now. I'm 30 now. I've been kind of starting to look back on my life and events that have happened and things that I used to do and things that I used to think and I wonder why I would ever think or do some of these things. Why I've changed so much. Now I wonder why I think or do things that I do now and try to look back in my life and see how different events play out and how different things happen. I don't know, it's really fun kind of psychological experiment to reflect on your life and try to analyze how certain things have came out. Either that or maybe I just have way too much time on my hands, I don't know. Could be that. That's always a distinct possibility. But I remember when I was 16 or 17 thinking, this is how my life's going to be, this is what I think, uh, I'll never have a different opinion other than this because I know this is the way things are. And looking back, knowing what I know now, it's not even close. I'm not even close to the same person. And it's kind of hopeful in a way. I, when I was 16 and 17, I was miserable. I hated my life. I was really depressed and just was not having a whole lot of fun in life at all. And things get better. They can get better. I mean, it's not a guarantee that things will get better. But things change. And even if people around you don't change, you still might change as a person. You never know. You can end up getting out of the situations that are making you miserable. You can end up getting into situations that can make you a lot more miserable just as easily. But life's just kind of a funny thing. You never know what's going to be coming next. Because when I was 16 or 17, I, being indoctrinated with the right-wing propaganda of the evils of homosexuality and how they're trying to convert all of us to their homosexual agenda, I never thought I'd ever have any gay friends. I never thought I'd have time of day or ever even think about anything halfway gay because that was disgusting. And now I'm sitting around thinking about which is gayer with my co-workers, some of whom happen to be gay, which I don't know how they can cast judgment on which is gayer when they are gay themselves. I, maybe there's different levels of gayness. I don't know. I can't really touch that one. But anyway, looks like this game's winded down. And I guess my commentary is too. I totally got way off topic and don't know if I even kept it anywhere, anywhere near coherent. Fuck, I can't talk at this point either, so I guess it's a good thing that this is winding down. Burned my tongue on some coffee earlier this morning and it hurts like hell. And apparently, I can't talk for shit. Left this kill cam in here because I thought it was kind of cool. They actually put some effort into some of the details and the backgrounds, like this little thing spinning. I thought that was kind of impressive. Something they didn't fuck up, finally.